So hello and welcome to a new guys guide tutorial. It's been a while since uh, the last tutorial because we've been busy with um, the release of version 3 and EDR3 and the Gaia, Gaia early data release 3 and also after that we had to release um, uh, 3.0.1 and 3.0.2 and some other stuff. So um, we're back and today we're gonna talk about uh, scripting. Uh, this is kind of an introductory um, course on scripting with Gaia Sky. It's nothing in depth or uh, with a lot of detail. We'll just um, explore the basics, um, how to get scripting to work, um, how to write scripts uh, for Gaia Sky, um, the requirements, um, etc. What what you can do with it. And all this kind of stuff. So let's get started and we'll start at the documentation. So you can um, write and browse uh, gaia.ari.uni-heidelberg.de slash gaiasky slash docs and go here to the user manual and this section uh, about scripting here, open it. And here we have um, all the information that uh, we need uh, to get started with scripting. So it contains a general description, how to start quickly uh, just by installing a Python package. Um, then um, it talks about uh, test scripts, so how to run a script. And then the scripting API, which is basically the functions which are implemented in Sky for you to call from your scripts so that you can interact and make things happen in Sky. Uh, then um, we go a little bit into a tutorial about um, how to write, in, write scripts uh, for Gaia Sky. Um, for example, here um, it uh, specifies what uh, you need to uh, add to your scripts uh, so that uh, the connection uh, with Gaia Sky is made, how to shut it down properly, and then some examples. So, for example, how to lock stuff. Uh, parameter types, uh, method access, um, all of this uh, technical stuff that you uh, need to read if you want to um, script Gaiasky. So how it works, uh, basically Gaiasky uh, contains a server. Um, we use the Py4j package, which is basically, um, it allows a connection between Python and Java. Gaiasky sets up a server and then you need to run your scripts from your uh, operating system interpreter, uh, the Python interpreter, and you need to have uh, the Py4j package installed. After that, you can just uh, add a few lines at the top of your Python script, uh, which are these lines here. Basically, uh, create a connection with Sky and then uh, get the GS object, which is the one that uh, contains all the met methods in the API. And that's pretty much it. Uh, after you've done that, you can already call uh, API methods. So um, let's see. So uh, maybe let's now have a look at some test scripts and uh, we provide some of these in our repository. So you can um, just go ahead and clone the repository or you can just browse it with your web browser at bitlab.com uh, slash monkey slash sky then navigate to the assets folder and then uh, scripts here we have uh, two folders uh, or two directories one called tests one called uh, showcases uh, the tests directory contains um, very simple tests which mainly um, use one uh, api call the showcases uh, contains um, some much more fleshed out scripts which uh, do uh, complicated stuff. So um, let's see, um, let's uh, open a terminal. Let me just increase uh, the size. And now we'll use two extra panes here in this one. Mm. Um, so we 
can navigate to the scripts folder and tests and we'll have a look at the one of these for example i think there's one where we test the star brightness uh, here so here as you can see um, this uh, test script let's remove these lines uh, we have this header uh, where we set up the script then we just uh, set the brightness to the maximum and then we decrease it uh, with a uh, small delay between uh, between each decrease of this uh, star brightness and then we just shut down so um, and this is called uh, star brightness test and let's just launch launch sky sky and we are using uh, gradle which is the build system to launch it and what's doing is it's compiling the whole project and then launching it uh, that's why it takes a while so um maybe uh, resize this uh, maybe resize okay so now everything is set up so we'll just um, go ahead and launch the script uh, we'll just run it with the system python interpreter as you can see now the stars are at maximum brightness and then we are uh, steadily decreasing towards uh, not zero but something close to zero and the script is finished here and now it should return also here yeah that's it okay so you can have a look at all these scripts there's uh, lots of them um, each of them tests a um, single um, feature of scripting but uh, if you really want to um, know what is possible with scripting, the best way is to come here at the docs and maybe browse um, the um, API directly. And here you have a list of uh, functions which you can call from scripts. And each function has um, a short description, uh, the parameters uh, that it needs. Um, um, how it's used and how to uh, make it uh, work. So another cool thing that we can do with this is uh, to actually have a live uh, scripting session. And to do that, we just launch the Python interpreter and then uh, we would launch Gaia Sky. We have it uh, here already. And what we need to do is uh, first import the py4j package like this, then we need to create the gateway, which is the connection to the Gaia Sky server, um, like this. And now we just need to get our um, API object, which is this uh, JS uh, thing. And now uh, we can already start uh, calling um, API functions. So, for example, if we want to open the um, controls window, we would do gs dot maximize interface window and just like this the uh, interface window is maximized we can close it minimize we can also do things like um, for example uh, gs dot go to uh, and let's just go to um, Phobos, for example, with a 20 degree uh, solid angle. And as you can see, we are now moving towards uh, Mars, its moon Phobos. So here is Mars, Phobos is at the other side. Here we are. If that was a bit slow, uh, we can also uh, use scripting to uh, modify the camera speed. So uh, you can just um, come here uh, to the API specification, which you find a pointer to, a pointer to the docs, and look for um, get uh, where was it? Yeah, the camera speed set. Camera speed. Uh, that's it here. 
So as you can see, it gets a float between 0 and 100. Um, modify the camera speed. So you can also modify the rotation speed, turning speed, and lots of other uh, stuff. Uh, whenever we are done with the session, we can just uh, input uh, gateway dot shutdown, and that will uh, terminate the connection. You can see we see it here also in the sky, and then we can just exit. Okay, so um, I think that's all for today. Um, as a first uh, contact with uh, guys, if you have um, questions or suggestions, just let me know. Um, just remember that uh, you can find all of the information here, the scripting section in the documentation. And yeah, I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.